Okay, one more video from Pace 1078 before I go home and have some supper. And then we have a church service tonight, so I'm coming back over in a couple of hours. This is, uh, I think, one of the most challenging sections in this pace. But this is really, really, really important because I know where you're headed in science. And I know that in physical science and in physics and in chemistry, we are going to do a lot of these unit conversions, okay? So it is important that we know how to do this. Now, I, I want to point out two things. And moms, uh, parents, supervisors, if you're watching, can I make two recommendations here? Number one is please allow your teen to use a calculator on these pages. Um, setting it up is hard enough and uh, trying to do all those calculations on paper and possibly making a little mistake can be very frustrating. If they have it set up correctly and they can use their calculator to get the right answer, personally, I th unless you want to choose a few, you know, keep some of the easy ones for them to do by longhand and then use your calculator on some of them. But as we move through this section, it's going to get pretty intense with just the calculation parts, okay? And then secondly, here on page 41, it says to memorize all of these conversions. Uh, that's a lot of them. There's a lot of them there that, personally, I don't even know. I don't know. I'm going to leave that up to you. I would highlight maybe several of them that you think are really important and say you need to have these memorized. And then as a teacher or parent, make a, make a three by five card and put the other ones on there that they can use for reference. And then allow them to use that on the checkup and self-test and pace test if you're allowing it in the pace. But the ones they need that you want them to memorize, then make that clear and hold them accountable to memorize those. Like everybody should know that 12 inches is a foot, right? And, and two pints um, equals a quart. And, you know, some of those 5,280 feet in a mile. Actually, I think that's kind of an important one to memorize. But um, 28.35 grams in an ounce. Yeah, I don't think so. Um... 0.95 liters in a quart. Ah. It's up to you as a parent. Let's talk about um, how to do these now. Let's take a problem like 36 pints. Okay, I'm just kind of making this one up. And I'm going to go to quarts. Here's the unit cancellation method that I teach my students. And that we just drill and drill and drill. And all the way from you know, junior high math all the way into the high school science as we do the same thing. Whatever they're giving us, in this case 36 pints, I like to put that on what I call a pedestal. Notice that there's no units on the bottom, all right? It's just a pedestal holding that unit kind of up in the air. The reason is I want to remember that this is in the numerator. This is the top number, okay? Now, whatever unit they gave me here, that one is going to go on the bottom. Okay? So again, there's two simple steps. Whatever is given, put that on a pedestal. Secondly, whatever unit they give on the top, we're going to put that same unit on the bottom. Then we look to see what units am I converting to. In this case, I'm converting to quarts. So I'm going to put the unit, of course, there. notice I'm not thinking about numbers. I'm not thinking about it getting bigger or smaller. I'm not trying to guess what the answer is, okay? You can do this mindlessly. So setting it up should be really easy. Take what's given, put it on a pedestal. Take the units from the top, put it on the bottom. Take the units you're converting to, put it there. All right, now we have to pause. We have to try to recall some memorized information or look back at the chart. Now, I pulled from the chart just a few of these that we're going to use for these examples. So here's a fact. Two pints equals one quart. One quart equals two pints. It goes both ways. So the top here has to equal the bottom. So since I have pints on the bottom, quarts on the top, I'm going to put the one next to quarts, and I'm going to put the two down here with pints because two pints is the same thing as one quart. And for those of you who want to just kind of understand why we're doing this, think about this. What is anything times one itself, right? So anything divided by itself is one. 
So if this is the same as this, then really I'm taking something dividing by itself, it's equal to 1. So I'm multiplying this times the equivalent of 1. I'm not changing the value of this. All I'm doing is changing the form, okay, the units. Now I can multiply straight across and get 36 over 2. Because 36 times 1 is 36. 2. The units here cancel. Right, so pints cancels out. So my answer is going to come out in quarts, and I can take 36 and divide by 2 and have 18 as my answer. All right, isn't that easy? So again, one quick review here. Take what's given, put it on a pedestal. Take the units that are on the top, put that on the bottom. Take the units you're converting into, put that on the top. Take the fact that we know how many quarts equals how many pints. Just plug in those numbers and then you solve. It's that easy. Let's do some more examples, okay? <clears throat> Let's take 1,056 feet. So remember what we do. We put that over a pedestal. I just want to get it up in the air times, draw a line. And now because I have feet here, I'm going to put feet down here because I want feet to cancel and I want my answer to come out in miles, M-I for miles. Now I have to think about it. How many miles are in a foot or better yet, how many feet are in a mile? Oh, 5,280. Okay, so I'm going to put 5,280 feet in one mile which means I'm going to take 1,056 divided by 5,280, and the answer will come out in miles. Now, again, this is why I'm saying these problems are not easy to do without a calculator. And not that they're impossible, okay? So if your parent wants you to do it, don't gripe. Oh, that one came out easy. Point two. All right, 0 0.2 miles. Let's do another one. Are you seeing the procedure? Take what's given, put it on a pedestal. Put the units on the bottom so they'll cancel. The units you're converting into go on the top. The top has to equal the bottom. Multiply straight across. Simplify the last step, all right? It takes longer for me to explain it than to just do it. 420. Seconds, put that over a pedestal. Times, draw a line, seconds are here, so I'm going to put seconds on the bottom. I'm going to minutes, so I put minutes on the top. How many minutes in a second? Oh, wait, it's not that, it's seconds in a minute, right? 60 seconds in one minute. Oh, now this one, actually, we can, we can cancel this one a little bit easier. I can cancel the zeros, because it's like dividing both of them by 10, and then 42 divided by 6 is 7. Yay! Seconds cancels out. So that fast, we can get the answer of 7 minutes. Isn't that easy? Okay. This next one, we're going to go from quarts to liters. So 4 quarts, put it over a pedestal. Draw the line. Since I have quarts on the top, I put quarts on the bottom. I'm going to liters, capital L. Notice, I don't even have to think. You just kind of get in a routine, okay? You just kind of memorize it. Put it on the pedestal. Take the units from the top to the units on the bottom. The units you're converting into go on the top. Don't even have to think. Now let's think for a split second here. Quarts. Here's quarts. Oh, wait a minute. That's pints. I don't want that one. Uh, quarts. Oh, quarts to liters. There it is. 0 0.95 goes with liters, and 1 quart goes on the bottom. So a quart is just a little bigger than a liter, okay? Now, I can take 4 times 0 0.95, and I'm going to save you the time. You can do that one on your own, okay? You finish that, quarts cancels, and you get the answer. Now, let's do a challenging one, okay? Those have, that's fairly easy now. I'm going to take 110 miles, and the pace has one that says 110 miles per second. And I want to convert that to how many feet per second. Ooh, 
110 miles per second. Now, when it's per, that's what this line is, okay? Miles per hour would be miles over hours. Miles per seconds is miles over. Since it's seconds, I'm going to put one second down here. All right, now I'm going to draw the line. The unit I'm canceling is I'm going from miles to feet. <clears throat> okay? So we're going to cancel miles. I want the answer to come out in feet. So I have to look at my memorized information or the chart. 5,280 feet in one mile. All right, now when I multiply this straight across, miles will cancel out and my answer will be in feet. I have one times one on the bottom and seconds, so it's going to be per second. And then we get this number by using our calculator. All right, and again, I'm going to let you either do that on your own <clears throat> with scrap paper or with a calculator, whatever you're allowed to do. 5,280 times 110. And bingo, you have the answer. All right, one more. One more. 0 0.343 kilometers per second. So I'm going to put that over one second. And I'm actually going to miles. Uh oh, this is a really tricky one. This is one of the last problems before the checkup. Okay, so we're going to go all the way out to miles per hour. Yikes. I'm going to give myself some more room here. All right, so we've got to go from kilometers to, let's see if, the, is there a conversion from kilometers? Oh, here it is. Yeah. 1.61 kilometers is one mile. Okay. So I have kilometers on the top. So kilometers goes on the bottom. Miles goes on the top. So that will cancel kilometers. <clears throat> now let's put the numbers in. 1.61 and 1. But we're not done. <coughs> Excuse me, because I'm going to miles per hour. And I've got miles, but I don't have per hour. I have seconds. Okay, now think about this. We're going to kind of go in reverse. I want to change this from seconds to hours. Now I have to go from seconds to minutes. And we're going to go from minutes to hours. But since seconds is on the bottom here, I'm going to put seconds on the top, put minutes on the bottom. And then I'm going to do one more conversion factor and go from minutes to hours. Now let's watch what happens with the units. Kilometers canceled. The answer comes out in miles. Down here I have seconds. Seconds will cancel against seconds. Minutes will cancel against minutes. Okay, because you have the same unit, top and bottom, they cancel. And the only thing left is hours. And so it's going to come out in miles per hour. But I do need to go back and put those numbers in. So let's think about how many seconds are in one minute. And of course, you know the answer is 60 seconds in one minute. And then 60 minutes in one hour. Now let's talk about solving this. And again, absolutely, use a calculator for this, okay? We're going to go straight across the top. So 0.343 times 60 times 60, and I get 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, that's funny. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, 0. 0.8 over, oh, it's 1 times 1 times 1 times 1.61. 1. 1.61. 1. Okay. So I'm going to divide that by 1.61. Whoa, 766.9565217. Wow, and that's miles per hour. But I think they want us to round that off. I'm going to look real quick here and see if they tell us how to round that off. Hundredths place, 
I think they're saying hundreds. Okay. Um, all right, so let's go to the nearest hundredth. So that would be stopping right here. And so we'll look at this digit, and that tells me that I'm going to have to round that up to a six. And that would be in miles per hour. Okay, now we're going to go to feet. We could take the same thing and go all the way out to feet per second, okay? So we start with the same kilometers per hour. Kilometers per second, I'm sorry. And we need to go from kilometers to feet. And let's see if we can find where is that conversion from kilometers to feet? Okay, I don't see an easy one, so we're gonna we're gonna make this one fun. Are you ready? Dum, da, da, dum, da, da, dum. All right, this is how I would do this. <clears throat> Now we're going to leave this in seconds, so we're good there, okay? So we need to go from kilometers to meters. Then we're going to go from meters to centimeters. Then we're going to go from centimeters to inches. And then we're going to go from inches to feet. Whoa! All right, let's think about it. Kilometers is a big unit. We're going to take that down to meters. Meters is pretty big compared to centimeters. We're going to go to a small unit of centimeters. There is a conversion that takes us from centimeters to inches, and of course you know there's 12 inches in a foot. So all of these units here are going to cancel kilometers, meters, centimeters, inches, and it'll come out in feet. Now it looks complicated, but with a calculator this is actually going to be very easy, okay? <clears throat> How many meters are in a kilometer? Remember, kilo means thousand. So 1,000 meters is a kilometer. There are 100 centimeters in a meter, just like 100 cents in a dollar. Now, here's one that you might not have memorized, but it's on that chart, okay? Um, I didn't write it down here, but it's on that chart too. 0.54 centimeters is one inch, and then of course you know that 12 inches is one foot. Okay, da, 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 da. here's the fun. Actually, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to let you solve it and write the answer down. We did all the hard work together. You get the fun part to do for yourself. Multiply this times this times this, of course times one times one, and then just write that number down. And then 1 times 1 times 1 times 2.54 times 12, write that number underneath it, and then take the top number, divide by the bottom number, round to the nearest hundredth, and you'll have the answer. Okay? So I just helped you do, let's see, that was on page 46, Number two, we basically did that one together. I think that was the hardest one on the whole page. But you're going to do the same kind of steps where you set up conversions and then multiply the whole top together, multiply the whole bottom together. Last step, take the top answer, divide by the bottom answer, round off to the nearest hundredth, and you should have the answer. All right, hopefully that helps. And that takes us to the end of the pace. Thanks for watching.